Hello viewers, welcome to Ajad Math Class. Today, we shall be solving this Math Olympiad question. Before we proceed, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? So, in solving this, we have that our a raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 2 minus 36 equals 0. So, we, we are going to look for the root of the equation of a. And from here, when we substitute in a equals 0, 1 and 2, we can see that we're not going to get 0 here. So, when a is 3, from here, we can get that a is one of the roots of the equation. That is, a raised to power 3 is 27 plus a raised to power 2, which is 9, minus 36. This is going to give us 0. This shows that a is one of the roots of the equation. But here, we, are, we need to get the other two roots. So, in solving this, we can use the polynomial approach. But instead of using the polynomial, polynomial approach, I prefer to use the factorization method. So um, from here, we know that when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, this can be factorized in, in the form of um, a minus b into bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also when we have a square minus b square this is a form of difference of two squares which is the same thing as a plus b and also a minus b so this is one of the basic principle of um, factorization yeah solving this forward this can be expressed in the form of a raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 2 minus 36 is the same thing as saying we have 27 and 9. Okay? So this shows that this can be expressed in the form of 3 raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 2. So from here, this can be simplified further as a raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 2 minus 3 raised to power 2 equals 0. Now, with this, a raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3, we can use the rule of a cube minus b cube. So this shows that this is the same thing as writing a minus 3 a square plus 3a plus 9. And also for this second part, which is a square minus 3 square, we're going to use this rule of a square minus b square, which is the same thing as saying we have a plus 3, a minus 3 equals 0. So with this, we can see that a minus 3 is common to both sides, which can be factorized out. So here, I'm going to have a minus 3 being factorized. So we are left with a squared plus 3a plus 9, okay, plus a plus 3, which is equals to 0. So from here, we can solve in what is inside the bracket here. So I'm going to have a minus 3. Here I'm going to have a squared plus 4a plus 12 equals 0. So from this, I have that my a minus 3 equals 0, which is one of the roots. And also a squared plus 4a plus 12 equals to 0, which is one of the roots. Like stated earlier on, from here, my a can be equals to 3. And solving this using the quadratic formula approach, I can use minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So solving this further, I can have minus 4 plus or minus root b square, which is 4 square minus 4 times a times c, which is 12. 
all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. So, with this, I'm going to arrive, by factorizing this, I'm going to arrive at negative 2 plus or minus 2 root 2i, which is in form of a complex root as the root of my equation. So finally, I can say that my a equals 3, that's the first root, and also my a can be said to be negative 2 plus 2 root 2i, and lastly, my a can be negative 2, negative 2 root 2i. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube